Hey everybody, happy Tuesday to you. Welcome and good morning for yet another edition of 5 Minutes with Phil. I'm really glad that you're here with me here today. Let's look at God's Word together again. We're going to take a look at a verse from the book of James chapter 3. Okay, James chapter 3, we're in verse 13. And uh, James, um, if you've been a long-time listener of uh, of this uh, thing we call Five Minutes with Phil, you've heard me say that I love the book of James because it's just so direct and to the point and uh, doesn't really pull any punches. And today is another one of those examples where um, <clears throat> James just kind of lays it out there for anybody who claims to know God or know about God. Uh, he has a challenge for those of us who would put ourselves in that category. Let's read this verse together, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, James 3.13, it says, If you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. Okay, I love, I love, how, I love how he puts it here. Okay, so James says, okay, so you consider yourself wise and you consider yourself a person who understands what God's ways are. Great. Prove it. Demonstrate it. Uh, don't just say it. Demonstrate what that's all about. And, and isn't it true that there are way too many followers of Jesus, people who maybe go to church, maybe even every Sunday they go to church, and they say, well, I know this about the Bible, I know that about God, and, and I know this and I know that, and, 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 but there doesn't seem to be a lot of proof. There's a lot of talk, but there's not a lot of action behind what they have to say. And James says, look, if you're going to put yourself in that category, here's how you demonstrate what that's really all about, okay? And how do we do that? How do we do that? The verse says that we should live an honorable life. Okay, let's just pause here for a minute. This is interesting because our, uh, our test of how authentic our walk with God is and how genuine and how authentic our uh, relationship and our Christianity is and our church life, whatever you want to call it, your faith, uh, that is that is demonstrated by the life that you live, not with the amount of knowledge that you have, but with the life that you demonstrate and the life that you live, how you walk this thing out. You know, and that's what that's what this whole ministry of this entire church is all about. Not just getting a bunch of knowledge. Anybody can do that. But but living this thing out and living a life that is honorable, it's pleasing to the Lord. And then James includes, you know, live, live an honorable life and, and do good works. Do good things. Okay, if you're going to call yourself a follower of Jesus, and if you consider yourself wise, and if you consider yourself understanding of the ways of God, then naturally what should flow out of that is a honorable lifestyle. You live a life of integrity. You live a life that backs up the Bible that you say you know about, and you're also doing good things for other people, for the Lord. You're busy. Did you know that uh, the Christian life is not a passive life? It's a life where you are committed to doing something. And maybe you're older in your, in, in your years and you think you can't do anything. You know what? You could pray. You could pray. And, and that, that is something incredible you can do. So I don't believe that there's anybody watching this that can say, I can't do anything for the Lord. Yes, you can. So if, if, if we're going to call ourselves understanding of the ways of God, then, then let's, let's prove it. Let, let's not just tell people how much we know. <laughs> let's show people how much we care. And let's, uh, let's back up our knowledge with an honorable life of integrity, doing good things to please the Lord. Amen? All right. Thank you so much for joining me. We love you. We will uh, talk to you again later. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.